How are traits passed on? In 1869, Friedrich Miescher discovered a phosphate-containing substance in white blood cells. He called it nuclein. Inside nuclein, Albrecht Kossel discovered the nuclear bases adenine, cytosine, guanine, thymine, and uracil. He received the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 1910. Together with Gregor Mendel, Misha laid the foundation for the field of genetics, which, unbeknownst to them, was determined by genes. A gene is a section of a chromosome that carries most of the information for specific inherited features. Chromosomes are made up of strands of DNA, which are wrapped around a scaffolding of protein. They're found in the cell nucleus of virtually every cell. Humans have 46 chromosomes, or 23 pairs of chromosomes, since each set of two is matched in size, structure, and genetic content. The only exception is the X and Y chromosomes, which determine gender. Genes supply the blueprints for proteins, which are in turn responsible for traits such as eye or hair color. It was Thomas Hunt Morgan who discovered that genes lie in sequence along each chromosome, at specific distances from each other. This discovery earned him the Nobel Prize in 1933. Human DNA consists of approximately 25,000 genes stored in circa 3 billion base pairs. The backbone of DNA is made up of phosphate and sugar. The two strands are connected by bonds between the bases. The first view into the structure of DNA was achieved by the X-ray diffraction analyses conducted by Rosalind Franklin and Morris Wilkins. Based on Franklin and Wilkins' research, James Watson and Francis Crick developed a model of DNA. They concluded that DNA must have a structure like a ladder twisted around itself in spiral form. Wilkins, Watson and Crick received the Nobel Prize in 1962. You can subdivide this DNA molecule, which goes on and on and on, into a number of segments, which we can call a gene. Now, each of these genes is responsible for the, the sequence of amino acids and the proteins. 